There are few comforts here for the badly hurt, just a sheet of plastic to protect them from the rain. They're left on the road to moan. This woman has back injuries and cannot walk. Remarkably though, no one complains, no one speaks at all. They just wait for hours until the soldiers come and take them away. Most are dazed, confused, like Gao Shan. He slowly recalls how he received those horrific bruises. I was on a bridge, he told me. I don't know who saved me. This is that bridge. Gal was crossing just as the tremor struck. Along with the concrete and steel, he went crashing to the river below. Everywhere here, the scale of the devastation is sweeping. And amid the rubble, memories of lives before the quake, lives that will never be the same again. The force of the earthquake was so powerful that many homes didn't simply collapse, they were destroyed, smashed into pieces. And in many cases, beneath the pile of wood and brick are the people who once lived here. The focus, say officials, is not on finding the dead, but rather on trying to save the living. But for many of the living, there is only misery. Survivors with nothing and nowhere to go they huddle together in makeshift tents. It's horrible. There's devastation everywhere. We have no food, this woman says. 13,000 people once lived in this small town, not far from the epicenter of the quake. The local Communist Party secretary, who's been directing the rescue, tells me 3,000 people are still missing. As he shows me the damage to his community, I ask how many have died. He breaks down in tears. Up to 500 have been killed, he says, including his parents, wife and two children. In the midst of his anguish, there's a call over his radio. He's needed again and goes back to work. John Vors, CNN, Chen Jiaba, China.